welcome back to the online classes of Trivini Memorial School. So today we are going to study the 11th chapter for class 5th that is animals and their useful products. So as you know students animals are very helpful for the human and they provide us various useful products. So let's begin. So the early man was a hunter and a food gatherer. So early people what they used to do? They used to roam here and there. Uh, here and there. They used to travel a lot. They were hunters. Okay. And they gathered the food. By and by he learned to grow his own food. So as the time passes there will be like these people they learn how to grow their own food. That's how the term came agriculture. So agriculture brought with it settled life for the humans. So earlier people were nomads. They used to travel a lot. Now what happened? Because of the agriculture, it brought settlement. So for that they have to settle at one place because in order to look after the seeds that they had sown. One they have saw, or once they had sown the seed, for that they had to take care of them. Because of that, they had to settle at one place. So useful animals. So there are various useful animals. With the discovery of agriculture, so when agriculture was discovered, humans began to domesticate the animals. So they started domesticating animals. Which animals? Animals like goats, cows, ox and sheep. So these animals were domesticated by the humans. They had, why, why, why these uh, uh, animals were domesticated? Because they help humans in their work. So they help out in doing our work. Secondly, they also provided humans with the milk and meat. So there are animals which are going to provide us milk as well as meat. Then the sheep provide us wool. Because of that wool, we make wool and clothes which is required in the winter season. Next, ox floor their field. So, ox floor their field that is used for agricultural purposes. Here, horses and donkeys were tamed for carrying the load. In order to carry the load from one place to another, horses and donkeys were trained. Next, dogs and cats were kept as pets. So, dogs and ca uh, cats were kept as a pet animal because the dog guarded the house, uh, the house and Cats keep the kept the rats away. So they are also useful as a pet animal. They also help in guarding the home as well as the cats will keep the rat away from our home. So these are the reasons why the humans have domesticated these animals. So let us see your one by one the useful animal products. So which uh, useful products are being obtained by the animals. So first we get milk from animals. So milk is provided to us by animals. So which animal provide us milk? Cows, goats, buffalo. So milk is itself a complete food student because it contains all the nutrients like carbohydrate, protein, with minerals etc. So these uh, milk is considered as a complete food and it is provided to us by cows, goats and buffaloes. So we use milk to make products such as cheese, curd, butter and koya. So these products are milk products which are obtained by these animals like cows, goats and buffalo. So the, your, your might be familiar with these animals so they are very useful to us. Moving on to the next one. The animals like hens and ducks gives us eggs. So hens and ducks are providing us eggs. Next week, we get wool from sheep. So sheep is providing us what product? Wool. And from wool, we, we wool is used to make the bullet clothes. So in winter, we wear bullet clothes. So sheep, its whole body is covered with this fur and this, is, this wool is being used for making the bullet clothes. So next is silk worms. So as you can see here in the diagram, these white insects, these are the silk worms and they gives us what? They gives us silk fiber and silk fiber is utilized in order to make the silk clothes. Next is some animals such as camels, buffaloes and snakes. They provide us leather and from that leather we make different uh, products like we make shoes, belts and coats. Nextly, there are 
nectar from the flowers as you can see here in the diagram this honey bee is collecting nectar from the flower okay and they that honey is being used as a medicine for cough and cold this is a bee hive where the honey uh, bees live and this is the honey this is the product which we are obtaining okay so this honey has a medicinal use for cough and cold next thing the dung of horses cows camels and goat are used as a manure in the field so manure is added in the field so that the crop production the yield of that uh, crop increases okay that field uh, yield increases the cow dung cakes are also used as a fuel in the villages so you might have seen these are still used in the villages in order to run the chula so this cow dung cake is used as a fuel as well as it is used as a manure in the field by the farmer okay for our own benefit next is the corals and shell of sea mollusks so sea mollusks are providing us what they are providing the corals and shell and what is this being used for it is being used for decoration the feather of certain birds are also being used for decoration so this is also a useful product by uh, which is used by us the tenth one is the pearls are obtained from pearl oyster so pearl oyster is organ uh, is an organism which is going to provide us pearl and that pearl can be used for making ornament so as you can see here in the diagram this is a pearl oyster pearl oyster are providing us what they are providing us us the pearls and from these pearls we are going to make a chain of pearls so this is a kind of ornamental uh, thing uh, which we uh, which we wear next is people who depends on animals so there are certain people student who depends on animal for their livelihood that is there are certain tribal communities that is the ancient people this tribal community earn their living from these animals example of those tribal community you know, it includes the snake charmers but uh, the madaris mohars are some of them okay so they make money by entertaining people with their with their animals so these uh, people they what they are doing they are making money from by entertaining the people by using these animals so it is a traditional occupation traditional occupation means that is it is very ancient it is being uh it is being moved on from one generation to next generation okay this is a traditional occupation so uh the first diagram depicts the snake charmer so you might have seen in the ancient uh, earlier time what they used to do the snake charmer used to play the bean and on that the snake dance because of that people uh, the snake charmers earn money next is this is a mohar so mohar is the one who trains the elephant so this is specifically a mohar of kerala okay so next is the madari so madari is the one who trains the monkeys and bears to entertain people so as you can see here in the diagram this madari it trains a monkey or a bear and after the show people give money to the madari so these madaris are earning money and it is a source of entertainment in the uh, in the earlier time it was one of the source of entertainment next is the circus entertainer so there are uh, you, uh, nowadays it is not uh, so much familiar but earlier what happened the people uh, used to visit uh, these circuses were uh, were organized in that the circus entertainers and their trained animals such as which animals are their uh, trained animals like tigers elephant dogs monkey bird bear they used to perform a skillful and amusing act to entertain us as you can see here in the diagram this elephant is being trained in order to entertain the uh, people okay okay let's move on to the next part that some madaris and mohats with the animals during the show okay and animal lover want such people to stop cruelty to animals so there are certain uh, these uh, mohats and madaris they are very cruel to these animals because sometimes they are uh, sometimes what happen they take the help of those animal lovers what they do they take the help of the police and to take away these animals and what happen to those animals then these animals will be sent to the zoo then there are others not all people are same student there are certain who are uh, certain madaris and mohats were cruel but 
there are majority of them are very uh, majority of these snake charmers, madaris, and mohats are animal lovers. What they do? They treat their animals like their own children, and they are not cruel to the animals. They are not at all cruel to their animals. They give them enough food, rest, proper shelter, and clean drinking water. They also clean their animals regularly. So this is how the good, uh, good snake charmers, madaris, and mohats who are good animal lover, they are going to take care about the, about their own animals as their own children, and they understand the feeling of the animals. So this is uh, here it is depicted as care for animals. So here animals are friends, so we must treat them as our friends, and we should always be kind to them. We must be very much kind to them and treat them with. Yes. So let's move on to the exercise part. So first multiple choice question here is you have to pick the one of the correct option. An animal that plow the field. So which animal is being used to plow the field? Ox, horse or donkeys? So here the right answer is ox. Ox is being used to plow the field whereas horse and donkeys these are being tamed in order to carry the load. The next is the dung of the animals is being used as waste product, purifier or manure. The dung is of the animals are being used as a manure. The manure is being add, uh, added to the field in order to increase the productivity, the food productivity of that field. Next is fill in the blanks. Firstly, dash were tamed for carrying the load. So which animals is being used to tame, uh, which was used for carrying the load? The horses and donkeys are being tamed for carrying the load. They used to carry the load for, uh, from one place to another. Next is silk worm gives us that. So silk worm gives us silk fibers and from this silk fiber, we are making the different silk clothes. Let's move on to the next part where different pictures are being depicted and we have to name them. First one as you can see here is of honeybee, the second one is of cow, the third is sheep and the fourth one is duck. So let's move on to the next section B of the exercise. Your first multiple choice question here is a dash trains the monkey to entertain people. So what is that person called who trains a monkey for entertaining the people? Clown, Madari or a Moha. So Mo, a Madari is a person who is going to train the monkey as well as bears in order to entertain the people. The next one is the circus animals perform various dash acts to entertain. So what is this circus? Uh, the circus animals are being uh, are going to perform. They are going to perform various amusing acts to entertain the people. The next is very short answer question. We have very short answer question. First one is name the animals that gives us honey, silk and pearl. So one by one we are going to discuss. The animals which gives us honey is the honey bee. The next is silk. Silk is being, silk fiber is being provided to us by the, by the silk worm. The next is pearl. The pearl is being provided to us by the pearl or yester. Next is Name three tribal community who uses animal as a means of their livelihood. So, the Madari, the snake charmer and Mohan are the tribal community people who are going to use the animals as a means of their livelihood. They earn their money by entertaining the people with, the, with their animals. Next is short answer question. Firstly, how are some Madari cruel to animals? So, what happens students? Certain Madari, what they are doing? They are whipping their animals during the show. And why they are whipping these animals? In order to entertain people and to earn more money. That is why they are there. Certain uh, Madaris are cruel to their animal. Next is, how should we take care of the animals? So there are various ways in which we can take care about the animals. Like, uh, we can provide them proper food shelter, they need to be cleaned regularly, we should provide them clean drinking water and we should provide them proper rest. So by these ways we can take care of the animal. Last type is long answer question here. Firstly, why did the early men domesticated the animal? So there are various reasons why the early men domesticated these animals. Earlier they, used, they were nomadic people. That means they used to travel from one place to another. They were good hunters and they were food gatherers. But because of agriculture, okay, 
as the agriculture came into existence, these uh, these early men started to settle in one place. So, in order to get useful products from various animals, they started to domesticate the animals. And what are the various reasons why they domesticated? Firstly, they uh, animals provide animals are uh, are being used uh, to do their work. Secondly, the animals have been providing them the milk and the meat. There are certain animals like the sheep is providing us wool. The horses and donkeys are being tamed in order to carry the load. Oxes are being used in order to uh, plow the field which is very important for the agricultural uh, purpose. So, these early men have started domesticating the animals. Next is name two animals each that gives us the following product. So we have to name those animals which are giving us these products. So first one is your egg. So egg is being provided to us by hens and ducks. The next is leather. So leather is being provided to us by the camel and the snake. Next is flesh. So flesh is being provided to us by goat and fishes. So as you can uh, see student from this chapter, the animals are being providing us the various useful products and they are very helpful for us and we, it is our responsibility to take care about them. We must be much more careful about these animals, okay? And we must be kind to animals, okay? So by this we are completing our 11th chapter student. So uh, hope to see you in my next video. Till then, take care.